Hello there, what's up guys? I am TCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. This time will be a little special and hard. I'm gonna show you guys a build without any healing effect enchantment like Radiance, Leeching, Anima Condu, Refreshment, Explorer, Food Reserve, Health Synergy, Life Boost, and Life Steal on Armor. Did I miss anything? I think no. And I can only use level 1 potion barrier to beat Apocalypse plus 25. Oh my god, it is almost impossible, but in this video, I will show you it is possible. This challenge is given by Epic Tempest at my Discord channel and challenge is accepted. Come, no more waiting, I will show you right now. For melee weapon, you need a Gilded Curse Axe. It has ability of spin attack. Oh yeah, spin it right round. And build in level 1 exploding. Mob explode after they are defeated and deals 20% of enemies health as damage. With chain, it has 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them bound for a short time, so they don't rush all at once to you. You can attack them at out of their range so you won't receive any damage, but this only works well on melee monster. Ranged mobs still can shoot you. Next is weakening, your attack decreases 40% attack damage to all nearby enemies for 5 seconds, so you receive slightly less damage. Next is critical hit to have 20% chance to deal triple damage. And last is committed to deal 100% more damage against already wounded enemies. For armor, use Gilded Star Wars armor. It has abilities of 35% damage reduction, 30% chance to negate damage. You will need these two and you don't need the following. 100% longer row cooldown. It has built in level 1 potion barrier. Whenever you use health potion, it greatly reduces damage taken by 90% for 5 seconds to protect you when you are in danger or fighting against tough enemies. With frenzy, while you are at less than half HP, your melee and range attack speed are increased by 30%. Next is deflect, has 45% chance to deflect incoming projectile. Next is chilling, to slow down nearby enemies' movement and attack speed by 60%. In a way, you are receiving slightly less damage. And last is cooldown. Reduce the cooldown time between use of your artifact. For ranged weapon, use Gilded Imploding Crossbow. It has abilities of arrow explode on impact. And built in level 1 gravity, pulls in enemies toward the arrow impact point. With power to increase 33% more power to arrow. Next is Infinity, has 48% chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting. This crossbow comes with very low ammo. You need infinity so you can shoot without worry. Next is chain reaction. Has 30% chance to fire 5 arrow in all direction on impact. And last is multi shot. Has 40% chance to fire 5 arrow at once. For artifact, use Death Cap Mushroom to increase attack speed to spin faster. Next is Iron High Amulet. To boost up defense for a short time so you can tank slightly longer. And last is Gong of Weakening. Use it when you are fighting against tough enemies like enchanted monster, creeper, raid captain, and bosses, so they can melt them in a second. Alright guys, that's all the gears you need. Now straight to the battlefield, be very careful, as every help count. In most circumstances, you will need to kite the monster a little bit so you don't get hit by them. Active mushroom and amulet all the time to have maximum attack speed and boost up defense for a short time. Add up with all the enchantment and abilities on your armor you have, you will receive greatly reduce damage from enemies. Keep on spinning your curse axe to deal damage to enemies who are around you and fire crossbow at the same time to deal explosive damage. This is a very very powerful incredible crossbow and it is the biggest helper for this build to beat apocalypse plus 25 without any healing effect enchantment because it can immune from taunt and deflect damage. So whenever you meet enchanted monster with taunt and deflect aura, just fire with the crossbow. If you want to learn more, you can check out the link at right top here. If you see ranged enemies, just walk like a boss, cause you have 45% chance to deflect incoming projectile back to them. And don't forget to use Gong of Weakening when you meet tough enemies to melt them. Do not worry about artifact cooldown time. You have cooldown enchantment on your armor, so never stop using it, especially for mushroom and amulet. You can active it again before the times run out. That means it will be up always 24-7. The health potion cooldown period in between use is kinda long, about 45 seconds, and potion barrier only lasts for 5 seconds. So you gotta use it wisely, go all out once activated, spin your axe like a hero. 
and most of the time you will be relying on food that drops from monster to heal up. In case your HP drops less than half, you will go crazy until you heal up. No, I mean he will go frenzy and increase 30% more attack speed so you can spin and shoot faster, even more output damage. This weapon has two combo lengths, spinning left and right, it deals about 1.5 million damage and as high as 4.4 million critical damage. And on with Gong Awakening, it deals about 30 million damage per spin. You don't deal crazily high damage for this build, it is more focused on curse and damage reduction. Something totally different build from what I have used to share. It is very challenging and the playstyle is totally different. You can't just rush blindly to attack monster with this build cause you don't have any healing effect. One wrong move, you are GG. This will be a hardcore mode build means you have to finish the mission without losing life. For those who like challenge, this is a build for you. There is another one is softcore mode build means you don't mind losing life as long as you can finish the mission with the same build with different ranged weapon, let's say you don't have imploding crossbow or its variants, so you will be using other bow until you meet red captain and enchanted mob with taunt, deflect, double damage, electrify or any other powerful enchantment, you will have hard time on them, very high chance you will lose life, but other than this, the rest is still work perfectly, okay? So Apocalypse plus 25 hardcore mode is just a piece of cake to you with this build. Nothing is impossible as long as you have the right gears and enchantment. Does this work on instant hunt? Yes of course. And if you're looking for easy way to farm gilded gears I will make a full guide on it, you can check out the link at right top here and down there at the description. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this hardcore mode build with Cossack spinning right round, baby right round and the enemies will go down 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 down. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. You can also hit me up at my Discord community, everyone is welcome to join. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and it will help me a lot and I am very appreciated. So happy spinning, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.